Hello YouTube, it's Melissa and I'm back with another project share. Today I'm going to be doing a scrap lift from Crafty Jen Scow. You can find her on Instagram and YouTube and um, I'm sure on Facebook. She's a designer for a couple different um, a couple different design teams. So, but anyway, I'm going to show you the layout and then I'm going to kind of give you a little walkthrough of what my plan is. We'll see what happens. So here we go. I'm going to move my camera quickly. Or not quickly, I should say. Okay, so there it is. And you can see she used five photographs. That's my intent as well. I like the title up there and how this is on an angle kind of flowing down. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you. This is going to be a 12 by 12, and I'm going to share some a memory that from a picnic we took right at the end of summer with some friends. So it was such a fun little day and so I wanted to document this day. So these pictures are probably two by three and um, and then I went through my stash and I found a sheet of paper that like a lot of times I'm going to use as my guide. I originally was going to print these photos in black and white but then I thought you know what I'm gonna miss the integrity of the colors of our blankets and the green grass and my picnic basket and stuff like that. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna just go with color. So I went to my stash. I don't know who this paper is from. Um, yeah, I don't know. But the one thing I wanted to keep in mind is that I have something very fun. I have these little ant brads they're super cute, teeny tiny little ant brads. So this would be a black element that I wanted to incorporate on my page. So when I was going through my stash, knowing that I wanted those ants on my page, I knew I wanted to find a paper that was going to um, be a good mix with black. And you know, sometimes I'm okay with mixing browns and blacks, sometimes I'm not, I'm just, I'm weird that way. So, but I found this sheet, this is just a scrap, what I have left, and I thought, you know what, there's a little bit of black here. These are like little ladybugs, and I'm going to go with this. So I went to my stash. You can see, you know, it, it kind of goes well with the greens and blues and everything that people are wearing. So um, I also found these stickers. I mean, we all have these, right? Who even makes these? I don't even know, but I found these because of these little ants. Super cute. And then, so here's the colors of paper I pulled from my stash. Most of these sheets are from a Michaels, you know, mixed pattern paper. This is really flimsy. Like you couldn't ever really use it as a background piece, but it's fine for layering and stuff like that. And for five bucks for like a hundred sheets, I, I can't miss them. Can't pass that up. So this happens to be like a banana yellow um, Stampin' Up! cardstock. So this would be my base. I brought these colors in because they were, this is actually one that's not from the Michaels. This is an Easter paper from We Are Memory Keepers. Super old. I don't even know what it's called, but I, hippity hoppity. But I pulled it for this um, orange and possibly this yellow. So like I said, again, I probably won't even use this, um, but who knows. But it is a nice blend of all of these papers. And so I pulled that. I also pulled some October afternoon stickers because there's some really great like good times is on here and I found a picnic one and so on so so fly a kite there's a lot of summery picnicky and then just for my stash I pulled October afternoon carpe diem and then I pulled some old <clears throat> excuse me um, I don't even know where these are from you guys these are just some embellishments that kind of had the colors I don't know if I'll go with flowers. Here's an old sun die cut. Hello, sunshine. These were some leaves that I cut. This is from Simon Says. Um, one of their big leafy dies. And then these are paper smooches leaves. Um, and then just some label stickers. So a bunch of things that I just pulled. I'll have them at the ready in case I want to use them. They're all sunshine and picnic related. And um, yeah, I'll go from there. So I will be back soon with the share. Thanks, guys. Bye.
Hello YouTube, I'm back and I have my layout done. And so I'm gonna quick show you, because it was a scrap lift, the layout that inspired me. So I'm gonna move my camera, so bear with me. This was a layout I mentioned in the first part of the video by Crafty Jen Scow. This was something she posted on Instagram and this was a design for Ellie Studio. Okay, so here we go. So I did a layout 12 by 12 based on a picnic. I showed you the photos. I was using five photographs. And so here's my overview. And then I'll start at the top and start explaining. So I, I backed it up on this gray Michaels pattern paper. It needed to have some stability because like I mentioned, it was, it was flimsy paper. So this gray reminded me of like a tablecloth. Um, it's just check or plaid or whatever. And then this was the yellow. I cut a half an inch off this side and the top and uh, mounted it on that. And then I used the red, the orange, the olive, the blue, and red and orange again. Um, going down, the this is just a scrap cut. And I just kind of roughed it up a little bit. Up at the top here, these clouds are cut. I used a confetti white, so it's kind of an off-white, which is nice because it coordinates well with the October afternoon, which is um, an off-white. So that worked out great. Um, so the paper snooches dies. I cut in white. I backed the photos up in the confetti white as well. It's an old paper from Stampin' Up. Um, it's these curly clouds. It's a nice, fun outline. Very whimsical. I cut the... I cut the sun with the paper tray ink heart to heart die right here. And this one has a coordinating stamp. I'll show it to you, although I did not use it. Um, it's actually really difficult to see, but it's here. There is a sun here that I've used before and some clouds. Um, and this is called, um, what is this called? Oh, heart to heart stamp set as well. So. So that's that, so you know if you're interested in the stamp set that it's in fact there. Um, so I did use a flare badge from my stash. I don't know where it's from, sorry, but it's yellow. And then I wrapped some blue thread just from my stash. I wrapped some blue thread kind of like, well not kind of, um, exactly like um, Missy Whitten does. She has a channel on YouTube as, too, um, as well. and. Um, so I did that. And then a picnic in the park was cut in a basic gray Stampin' Up! cardstock. And the font I used is from Neat and Tangled. It's one of their more recent releases. And it's called just Journaling Alphas. It's a skinny, fun, playful font. And then, like I mentioned, I wanted to use those ants. So I used a big one here, littler one here, and then these two were stickers. This tab is from both of the tabs on this page actually this one and this one are from this October afternoon tidbits treasure map and then today we which was stamped dot dot up at the top here that is actually from this scraptastic um, this life noted September 2015 um, this stamp set here it's fun because it's got you, know, you can do some fun things with it. I don't do like decorative planning, but if I find little stamps that I can use on tabs and things, they're perfect because I scrapbook um, a lot and Project Life a lot, so that works out great. The best is from, this is from Concord and Ninth. I don't have this labeled, shame on me, I'm gonna have to do that. This is from Concord and Ninth and it coincides with um, one of their um, dies and so, yeah, this is from them, I know that, So, but I gotta remember to label that. And then, let's see, Shameless Selfie, so here's another ant, here's a sticker. Um, the Shameless Selfie, that's a We Are um, we are Memory Keepers, like one of their clear stickers. And then Funny, I made my own epoxy bubble, sorry about my light guys, I made my own little piece of flare, so Funny is cut, I have from the Jelly Bean Soup, spicy social soup um this was just a whole page of fun little things so i cut it apart so it's easier for me to run through my big shot or use with my circle punch punches um so that's what i did there 
And then these are just two random pieces of, you know, uh, brads that I had in my stash. I did my journaling here and then continued it here. Added two more ants here, an ant sticker here, and this hooray for weekend. So this was part of the October afternoon treasure map tidbits. It's the back side. So hooray for weekends was used. I used the chic tags. And actually, I want to say that I saw that they have a sale going on right now on their stamps. But chic tags um, and hooray for weekends, I colored it in with an orange marker, the hooray part. Um, that's another random Brad. This is not a homemade epoxy, but you guys remember these basic gray clips? Um, I'm not a fan of the clip part, so I just pop that clear epoxy bubble off and use it. And so then Good Times was a sticker from one of these sticker sheets. I told you I was going to try to use some stickers. I unfortunately only used one, but that's okay. And I went ahead and punched a hole in it, added a um, silver brad, and added some twine to it. And then the sunshine was from a Simple Story sticker sheet. And that's it. So I'll go ahead and show you once up close. So you can see, I, I think it just turned out so adorable. I just love it. So if you have any questions, you know, go ahead and ask me. <laughs> and if you love this project, um, I love it. I love how it turned out. Give me a thumbs up. That would be wonderful. And you can also find me on Facebook at Cut It Up Creations. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one. Bye.